Hi guys, welcome to another episode of The Aspiring Entrepreneur. I'm your host, Hamza Chowdhury. And in this video, I'd like to talk to you about the Planeteer stock. It's actually the first time I've covered the stock on this channel. And I figured it's gotten a lot of attention and it's made quite a move. And a lot of times when we see stocks that are going upwards and they're going vertical, I'd like to cover them just in case if you see this video and it's something that's interesting to you, feel free to add a comment below if you'd like to see more videos or other stock symbols covered. And you know, with this stock, I actually was looking to see if we can start seeing a downwards pull back into the $20 range. So I actually bought some puts on with the Friday expiration and I was really surprised you know, when we saw this sort of rejection um, come in a few days ago here uh, when we were trading around $20 and then all of a sudden it just skyrocketed going into Friday, right? All the way up to 32 and then we sold off. And so what was really interesting is Citron Research, which is a well-known short seller came out Friday, basically just called it a casino, caused the stock to dive a bit, but I don't think this action's over guys. You know, you can see that we had the IPO in, in um, September 30th we were sort of trading sideways and then we've had again on this Bollinger Band, this upward band indicates an extremely bullish move. We've gone completely vertical. And honestly, with all the sideways action, you can see there's a lot of support here in the $20 range, which would have been the ideal place to you know buy into. But just because we've had this rejection doesn't mean that we're gonna pull, right? We need to see this. We need to see a flush so we can get new money in, new buyers, right? Buyers who are just holding on to it that doesn't push a stock. What pushes a stock is when new buyers are coming in and, and volume and trading. And we had, I believe it was like 190 million shares traded, you know, in, in one trading session last week. And you can see that the volume is extremely picked up. I mean, it's probably tripled or quadrupled than what it was um, back in October. So this stock is definitely something that is on everyone's radar. And so with this pullback, it doesn't mean that now this thing will just start selling off and it's done. It, but this, this tells me that we had a good sell off and we had a lot of people sort of flush out so now we can get bought back at and, and you know where do i see that in the chart well right here right so we had this this push clearly a rejection and then if you were part of the trading session on a friday you could just tell that there was just a lot a lot of volume considering it was only half a day and as it flushed down you can see where the buyers came in right so i had my uh sort of buy point around 2650 i believe it was 2612 here as the low and you can see this is where the buyers came in so if you look left this is definitely a level I would draw out is the $26 range as a dip buy. And then you can see we push right back up into the $28, $29 range. Okay. So for tomorrow, if I were to dip buy again, I would look right here at the $26 range for a dip buy. And then I wouldn't be surprised, like I said, if we retested the highs and we're going to test those. And once we can break out, then again, it validates our long. And if it validates your short, what you want to see is a breakdown of the stock to where it does break below 26 and it holds that. And then again, we can flush more people out. But just considering the the extent of the candle, the the long wick, and the the volume that was traded, I you know I feel pretty confident to say that I can see the stock trading around the 26 to 28 dollar range, and then you know trading sideways before we continue our upwards momentum. Um, there's a lot of exciting things going on with Planeteer, and it's definitely on everyone's radar. And like I said, if I were to dip by in the 26 range, you know understand that the you know the I don't see it going below 20. Uh, which is what we had just even a few days ago. Okay, so with that said, guys, I expect some upwards momentum. We may get a dip by at 26 tomorrow going into Monday, November 30th, and we can continue the upward trend of the stock. Okay, guys, with that said, if you like the video, feel free to hit the like and subscribe to our channel. We're a 100% free content channel, and feel free to share the video with your friends and family. And with that said, you know, drop a like and comment button, comment below if you guys have any questions or comments, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.